Hi, I'm Daniel with Plumpy Thimble, and today we're doing something a little bit different. I have Bruce and Peter here with me. Hi! And we are taking a look at the blue-orange game, Vroom Vroom. Vroom Vroom is a game for two to four players in which you race around the track, picking up trinkets and try to be the fastest snail in the garden. It's a game made for kids. It's made for ages four and up. So Peter, you shouldn't even play this game. You're too little. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, all right. There's Brucey. Yeah, there's Brucey in the, in the camera. You can set up this map any way you'd like. There's, you can set up this map any way you'd like. There's a lot of different options with uh, both turns and straightaways, and you can kind of build your own custom map. We've got a very simple one set up here. On your turn, you roll four dice. If your color comes up or the wild color comes up, you get to move your snail that many spaces. And unlike most games, you're not moving spaces necessarily, but the snails themselves have a wheel in the middle with a line on top. And that's kind of the counting element of the game. Bruce, do you mind moving this snail two? Okay. One. That goes all the way around. So once we get one. the line there, so one, go one more. Two. Two. So the gist of the game is you're rolling these dice every turn and you're trying to pick up one of each of the three trinkets on the board and be the first one across the across the finish line. Okay, are you gonna talk? The snails themselves are wooden components. Everything else is very thick chipboard, cardboard. And the game just oozes style, but it's very much so dedicated to the younger audience. Hence, I've got Bruce and Peter here with me today. Where is Mama? Mama is in the other room. Now, before we get into their thoughts on this, a couple of aspects, or Bruce's thoughts, I guess. Are you done, Peter? <laughs> so the game itself is very simple, and it's, an, it's a kind of a cool idea where you've got the lines that roll instead of just moving spaces but that opens the game up to some component issues. Specifically, the green snail I had some issues with in that I would roll it, but the wheel itself wouldn't spin. And that is fundamentally difficult for this game. It's a bad thing for this game when one of the key components just doesn't work. How do you feel about something like that, like component quality? Um, I feel good. You feel good about it, good. One other minor component issue that I, I kind of Notice was that the pieces themselves in terms of the map while really cool You can kind of create your own race tracks however you like they don't piece together very nicely uh, Does that affect your gameplay in, in terms of your enjoyment of this Bruce? No, no, you like it just the way it is. Yep. Peter. How did you like this game? Yeah, whoever snail crosses the finish line gets to go on number one. So can you say that all again? Well, well Peter did you want to say anything about this game? Uh -huh. Yeah, what do you want to say about when, Vroom Vroom? When I get keys. That's I, right, you have to pick up the keys to win the race. I get buttoned. I get that before. You like pushing the snails along? Really? But see, no, look, my, my issue with this is not necessarily the movement or the dice. I think the ideas in it are really cool. But, but my problem is that the, the components themselves don't always live up to it. Yeah, what is your, what's your point with this? Well, um, a zoom zoom, zoom zoom, well, has snails that move off of their wheel. Daddy, move the, the yellow snail. Four spaces. Four spaces, okay. So I go and I spin the wheel, that'd be Mommy. one. And if I go, I pick up that Mommy. button. Mommy be two, yellow. Three, Mommy be four. Yellow. And then I would stop there because that's four rotations. Mommy. So I guess the gist of this review is that the idea is really solid. The components are lacking in a few ways that can easily be fixed. Uh, I was able to loosen up the yellow oh. snail a little bit, the green snail a bit, sorry. And while the idea to me is really cool, and certainly it helps with color recognition and counting. I think some of the areas that were lacking were, to me, pretty detrimental to the game, but not in a way that was overly decimating to my enjoyment of the game. But the fact is it's a kid's game. Okay, real quick, let me ask you. Did you like Vroom Vroom? Yeah, well, I have... Okay, real quick, Peter. Do you like Vroom Vroom? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, go ahead. Well, Vroom Vroom also has snails that have wheels. And I'm gonna move on. If I get 
I'm gonna roll the dice and see my blue snail gets. My blue snail gets one, one, two, three. So I remove my snail trees species. One, 